The beginning of the movie Triangle of Sadness shows a wealthy young couple, Carl, Harris Dickinson, and Yaya, Charles by Dean, who tragically passed away at age 32 while the movie was playing at film festivals, having a tense dinner together. Even though Carl's jealousy and worries about Yaya's better income than his make their relationship difficult, they are together mostly for the benefit of their social media profile, yet frequently leaving him to foot the bill for their lavish meals. Yaya is a social media influencer who shares pictures of herself about to eat a giant forkful of spaghetti before shoving it away and claiming she has a gluten sensitivity, whereas Carl is a model. If you can get a job with them, it's enjoyable work with classy, attractive people. Even better, it gets them a complimentary trip on a luxurious boat around the Mediterranean, the kind where the staff is not only told to never refuse a request from a customer but also encouraged to do so, on the theory that they would receive a generous tip at the conclusion of the voyage. Even among the employees, there is a hierarchy, with white Europeans serving as the ones who directly attend to the needs of the passengers while non-whites labor below deck, in the kitchen or the engine room. This is true even if they are theoretically on the same side of the ship. The visitors treat the workers alternatively as servants and entertainment because they are alternately outrageously wealthy and obnoxiously out of touch. Being stuck on a boat in the middle of the ocean with these affluent twits who can only speak about how they got rich is not worth it, even before the food poisoning and motion sickness set in. It is shot in such a way that you can literally feel the ship rocking back and forth throughout this horrifyingly humorous episode, which is the highlight of the film, as the ship becomes acutely aware that not a single person on board, at least not on deck, is prepared for the chaos that unfolds. While some of the guests are left tossing and turning in their own waist due to the yacht's apparent lack of readiness, the exhausted captain, Woody Harrelson, and a Russian visitor, Slatko Bury, argue communist theory drunkenly over an open mic. The yacht capsizes as a result of a pirate raid. Passengers and crew are among the few survivors who make it to what appears to be a desolate island. The hierarchy quickly changes as ship housekeeper Abigail, Dolly de Leon, is the only survivor who is able to do anything helpful in this kind of situation, like catch fish and build a fire. She is a very strong leader, reprimanding disobedient members by depriving them of food and setting up a deal with another survivor whereby they exchange sexual favors for better treatment, in this case extra pretzel sticks. Nothing humbles the rich like having to submit to an unwelcome, but how long can this go on? When they are finally saved, what will happen? Triangle of Sadness, Slun's debut film in the English language, has the impression of being more discreetly done than it actually is. Even though it's entertaining to see Harrelson and Bury debate capitalism versus socialism, it might be a bit much to do so while displaying visuals of opulently wealthy people physically covered in pool. However, in a time where we've learned that the misery of the poor will only continue as the rich gain richer, perhaps subtlety isn't necessary. Perhaps the topic needs to be broached as bluntly as possible, like a sledgehammer to the head for anyone who doesn't yet see how rigged the system is and who believes that no one would care how much money they had if they were stranded on a desert island. Even though the third act drags a little, it makes up for it with a terrifyingly uncertain conclusion. Additionally, Slund makes the sage choice to refrain from making fun of the yacht's visitors. Instead of being generic, over-the-top villains, they simply lack context for the actual world, where it would be strange to announce casually that you made your money selling weaponry. When Abigail asserts that food should be given based on who put the greatest effort into obtaining and preparing it, everyone on the island is startled and horrified. People who once felt they had complete control over the world are abruptly reduced to nothingness without their wealth and status and are obliged to accept this and carry on as is expected of everyone else. For those of us who must labor for a living but have little to show for it, it is a lovely revenge dream, and Slund brings it to vivid life with biting wit.